most of the Danganronpa fandom seems to believe that Junko Enoshima personally created the Junko slash Monokuma AI by copying Chihiro's talent. The wiki states that that's the case, and I've seen people in the comments section on YouTube argue that that's the case using this scene from Goodbye Despair and the brainwashing plot from Danganronpa 3 to prove their point. I understand their logic. I understand that Junko has a highly effective analyzing talent, but whenever I think of Junko's analytical skill, I think she can easily predict events and behaviors, not she can perfectly replicate any person's talent. I mean, if Junko could just perfectly replicate any person's skills, Ryota wouldn't have been directly involved in the despair arc. Remember. The first draft of the Despair brainwashing video, the one created by Junko and Bakuro, was insufficient. It worked on me, Konsumiki, but it wouldn't work on the average person. The twins couldn't perfect Ryota's technique, so in order for Junko's plan to work, Ryota had to be directly involved. Junko threatened Ryota and forced him to improve the Despair video because she couldn't do it herself. This whole incident with Ryota shows us that if Junko wanted to learn a new skill, she can understand the basics, but she could never get anywhere close to perfecting said skill. Also, the Junko slash Monokuma AI said that the real Junko was terrible with computers, so if she tried to make the AI herself, that probably would have been a huge obstacle for her. Here's what I'm trying to say. I don't think it's impossible that Junko created the AI herself, but I do think it's improbable. As for this line of dialogue, I think it's possible Makoto saw Monokuma in the Neo World program, freaked out, tried to figure out what was going on, discovered it was a virus, noticed some similarities between the virus and Chihiro's work, and went, Oh my gosh, Jugo copied Chihiro's technique, without stopping to put more thought into that assumption. If you don't agree with me, that's fine. But if you do agree with me, this raises a question. If Jugo didn't create the AI, who did? Where did it come from, and why is it so similar to Jihiro's work? Well, I think I know the answer, and it came to me while I was re-watching Chihiro Fujisaki's free time events. During his third free time event, Chihiro tells Makoto about the artificial intelligence he's been working on. At first, he hesitates to share the specifics with Makoto because he signed a non-disclosure agreement with the corporation he was working with. While watching this, I suddenly thought to myself, what if that company was Toa Group? The powerful IT corporation featured in another episode, Ultra Despair Girls. Think about it. Who did Izuru Kamakura steal the AI from? Monika Toa, the chief executive of Toa Group's robotics branch, who also happened to be one of Junko's most devout followers. We know from another episode, Ultra Despair Girls, that Monica used her position to manufacture Monokumas for the tragedy. If Chihiro had in fact been working with Toa Group prior to the rise of Despair, then Monica would have had access to Chihiro's research. She could have easily incorporated his work into the Monokumas. Is there anything in the series to back this up? Well, a scene in Donkarampa If seems to support this theory, but we probably should take it with a grain of salt because Donkarampa If is a non-canning AU, and there appears to be a small continuity error in this scene as well. Anyway, in Donkarampa If, Chihiro notes that the equipment in one of the Monokumas looks familiar, and he recognizes it as his own work. As I said before, we know from another episode, Ultra Despair Girls, that the Monokumas were manufactured by Toa Group. So why would Chihiro's program be inside the Monokumas, unless Toa Group had access to Chihiro's work, unless Chihiro had worked with Toa Group prior to the tragedy? I also think it's worth noting that Chihiro's dad, Taichi Fuchisaki, is very knowledgeable of Toa City. The game and the wiki seem to imply that he worked for Toa Group himself, 
but it's not very clear. Either way, I think it's entirely possible that Taichi set Chihiro up with Toa Group. He is the reason why Chihiro got into programming, after all. So, here's what I think happened. Toa Group and Chihiro agreed to do business together. Because of this, Toa Group had access to Chihiro's research before Class 78 started their first semester at Hope's Peak Academy. Junko eventually approached Monica and told her to build some machinery for the tragedy. Monica had access to Chihiro's research through her position at Toa Group, decided to incorporate Chihiro's work into the Monokumas, and ultimately created the Junko slash Monokuma AI. Izuru eventually stole two copies of that AI, and you know the rest. If this theory is true, then Makoto's statement would only be partially incorrect. Did Junko replicate Chihiro's skills and create the AI herself? No. One of her subordinates stole Chihiro's work and used it to support Junko's cause. Hi everyone, thank you for watching the video. So, how do you think the AI came to be? Do you agree with my theory, or do you accept Makoto's explanation as the only explanation that makes sense? So, do you agree or disagree with anything I had to say in the video? Let us know in the comments below. Also, feel free to check out our other Danganronpa related videos and our other videos in general if you're interested. Thank you for watching, and hopefully we'll see you again soon. Bye!